Amber Portwood is having one heck of a year so far. She just lost the most important battle of her life. Last Tuesday, the teen mom OG star lost custody of her four-year-old son, James, to ex-boyfriend Andrew Glennon. Can't get enough news about Amber Portwood? Then you've come to the right YouTube channel, Plenty of Pop Fans. We've scored Facebook groups, Twitter feeds, Reddit, Discord, and even Telegram boards to get you the most up-to-date info on your favorite celebrity or juicy Hollywood gossip. If you have a tip, story, or even correction on our intel, comment below and we'll be sure to follow it up. Before we dive in, this is the first part of a two-part series for teen mom OG Amber Portwood loses custody of son. Let's dive right into what Kaylin is up to now. The most significant battle of Amber Portwood's life has been lost. Tuesday afternoon, the star of Teen Mom OG lost custody of her four-year-old son James to her ex-boyfriend, Andrew Glennon. In addition, a judge ruled that Glennon can move to California with a child from Indiana, where Amber also resides. This request was made back in April. Glennon has had primary custody of James since Portwood was arrested in July of 2019 for domestic violence. According to court documents obtained by The Sun, the judge granted Andrew's request to relocate and gave him sole legal and primary physical custody of James, with the proviso that he seek out and consider the mother's opinion prior to making major decisions regarding the child's medical treatment education, and religion. Under the new custody arrangement, the MTV personality, who has not been permitted overnight visitation with James since the 2019 domestic violence incident, has been granted overnight stays. Each month, she will split her time between Indiana and California with her son. In addition, the same judge ordered both Amber and Andrew to submit to monthly drug tests for the next six months, and Amber was ordered to participate in individual counseling with the counselor of her choosing and follow any recommendations made by the counselor. In July of 2019, Portwood was accused of assaulting Andrew while he was holding James. She allegedly attempted to break down the bathroom door behind which Glennon and the baby were hiding with a weapon. According to documents obtained by Raider Online from the Marion Superior Court at the time, Amber struck the machete at the and into a door while Andrew Glennon stood directly on the other side of the door, creating a substantial risk of bodily injury to Andrew Glennon. The Ashley's Realty Roundup also published an affidavit alleging that Portwood struck Glennon with a shoe while he was holding 14-month-old James at that time. Mr. Glennon stated that upon entering the residence, Miss Portwood grabbed a shoe from the shoe rack and struck him with it. Mr. Glennon stated that he was holding the baby and that he turned to the side to prevent the baby from being struck by the shoe read this report. Mr. Glennon stated that he then left the residence with the infant. Portwood was arrested and subsequently pleaded guilty to two felony counts of domestic violence and intimidation. Portwood avoided jail time as a result of the terms of her plea deal. When the current no-contact order between Andrew and Amber is lifted, the MTV star will be entitled to frequent telephone phone calls and or FaceTime communication with the child, according to the ruling issued on Tuesday. Portwood went live on Instagram shortly after the news of her custody loss went viral. In addition to reassuring her followers that she would remain positive and fight this, the lead of Teen Mom OG argued that she should not be held accountable for past mistakes because she is attempting to improve herself. In addition, she stated that her mental illness is being used against her in this case. Portwood claimed elsewhere in this session that James enjoys their mother-son time together and that he frequently tells her, I love you. 
Portwood gave birth to James in May of 2018, one year prior to the end of her relationship with Glennon. As a result of the ex-protected couple's custody dispute over the past three years, Portwood was permitted three unsupervised visits per month with her youngest child. Amber has a 13-year-old daughter with ex-husband Gary Shirley. She has stated numerous times in recent months that the two get along well. Fans of Teen Mom OG have witnessed Amber Portwood engage in numerous custody battles over the years. The MTV star who has a daughter, Leia, born in 2008, with ex-husband Gary Shirley and a son, James, born in 2018, with ex-husband Andrew Glennon, has long struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues, which have landed her in legal trouble and prevented her from spending ample time with her children. Portwood lost custody of James in July of 2022 following a three-year custody battle with Glennon following her 2019 arrest for domestic battery. The judge also granted the cinematographer's request to move with James from Portwood's home state of Indiana to Glennon's home state of California, as reported by The Sun. I have worked so diligently to improve myself and my relationships with my children. After the ruling, the former 16 and pregnant star told Us Weekly, a person should have the chance to redeem themselves and not be tethered to their past problems. She added, I've spent years rebuilding bridges and did everything that was required of me including submitting 21 negative drug tests and undergoing multiple psychological evaluations. If your path has not been perfect, but you've worked hard to become a better, more stable, and more caring person today, continue moving forward as I will. I will never stop fighting for my children, whom I cherish above all else. Portwood added on Instagram that she was devastated and heartbroken by the decision describing the circumstance as a nightmare. Glennon employed the same metaphor when describing his contrary reaction. After the case was resolved, the videographer told E! News, We endured the nightmare. Now is our chance to live the dream. Portwood was arrested over the 4th of July weekend of 2019 for allegedly throwing a shoe at Lennon and brandishing a machete at him while he was holding 13-month-old James. The custody battle between the former couple then began. The reality star was arrested and admitted to domestic violence and intimidation. According to the indie star, she reached a plea agreement in the case and was not sentenced to more than 900 days of probation. The incident impacted not only Portwood's relationship with Glennon and James, but also her relationship with daughter Leia, which was already strained due to the mother-daughter duo's own problems, many of which stem from Portwood's previous incarnation. From 2012 to 2013, she served 17 months in prison for violating probation in her prescription drug case. In an August 2019 episode of TMOG, Leia's stepmother and Gary's wife, Christina Shirley, stated, Leia knows a lot about what's happening. I believe the only thing she said to me is, what happens to James if mommy goes back to prison? Will James also be taken away from me? I do not know the answers. May of 2011 TMZ reported at the time that the MTV star lost custody of Leia after Child Protective Services recommended Gary to take over her care. After Portwood's car and home were vandalized and Leia's safety was questioned, the decision was made. 2015 According to court documents obtained by Us Weekly four years later, Two after Portwood's release from prison in November of 2013, she and Gary agreed to share custody of their daughter. The amateur cook has primary custody of Leia, who resides with him, Christina, and their daughter, Emily, while the author of So You're Crazy Too pays him $1,200 per month in child support. 
July 2019. Portwood, who had been arrested for domestic violence against Gary in 2010, allegedly threw a shoe at Glennon while he was holding their son, James. Portwood had previously been arrested for domestic violence against Gary in 2010. The native of Indiana, who allegedly possessed a machete, was arrested and later pled guilty to two counts of domestic battery and intimidation. August 2019 After her mother's request and arrest, Leia became concerned about what would happen to her younger brother James and whether or not history would repeat itself. Christina stated in an episode of Teen Mom OG at the time, Leia knows a lot of what's going on. And I believe the only thing she said to me is, what happens to James if mommy goes back to prison? Will James also be taken away from me? I do not know the answers. February 2021 Portwood was granted a restraining order against Glennon after she allegedly missed time with James during the 2020 Christmas holiday due to a custody dispute. According to court documents obtained by us, she filed the petition to prevent interference with parenting time. September 2021 the entire ninth season of Teen Mom OG featured Portland and Leia in conflict with one another. During a confessional, the 16 and pregnant alum revealed that she hadn't seen Leia in quite some time, and that the relationship was still struggling. Leia was forthright about the disconnection she felt with her mother, explaining that she believed Portwood to be an absentee parent. In one episode, the adolescent said of her mother, all she did was give birth to me, and then she just left. July 2022 Several months later, the relationship between the mother and daughter appeared to have improved. Portwood informed us at the time, our visits are actually going much better. I can't speak for Leia, but it's like night and day when we're around each other now. It's just beautiful. Amber Portwood a mother of two, lost custody of her son, James. A judge granted Amber's ex-boyfriend, Andrew Glennon, primary and legal custody of their four-year-old daughter. We can only imagine how devastating this news is for Amber, given that she has already endured a similar situation with her daughter. The ruling concludes a protracted and contentious custody dispute between the two former partners. The terms of the custody arrangement will allow Andrew to relocate James from Indiana to his home state of California, the Sun reported on Tuesday. Amber, who resides in Indiana at present, will initially have three supervised overnight visits per month. We simply cannot fathom how difficult this must be for her. Amber and Andrew will each undergo monthly screenings. Due to their tumultuous and widely reported past, the judge has ordered them to submit to monthly drug screenings. In addition, the judge has instructed Andrew to seek the mother's opinion before making major decisions. Given how tumultuous Andrew and Amber's relationship was at its conclusion, Andrew will likely avoid Amber unless absolutely necessary. The heartbroken mother has revealed what transpired in court. Amber responded on Instagram to the news, and Amber claimed in a page 6 viewed Instagram live that her mental health was used against her in the custody decision. Amber's struggle with bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder has been extensively documented both by teen mom Camera Cruz and by Amber herself in her autobiography. Despite losing her legal battle, Amber reassured her fans that she will remain positive and vowed to fight this. Fans of Teen Mom for an extended period of time are aware that this is not the only parenting setback Amber has endured. Gary Shirley, Amber's ex-husband and co-parent of their 13-year-old daughter Leia, currently has sole custody. A lack of communication between mother and daughter over the years have strained their relationship. 
We sincerely hope that Amber and her son are not following in their footsteps. We hope Amber is receiving all the love and support she can right now as this must be very upsetting for her. The boy is now in the sole custody of his father, Amber's ex-boyfriend Andrew Glennon. The implications of the court's decision are enormous for Amber, as Andrew is a resident of Los Angeles and had previously expressed a desire to relocate to his hometown permanently with James. Amber had previously lost custody of her daughter Leah, whose father, Gary Lee Shirley, resides in Indiana. Amber could attempt to move to California, which could be difficult given her legal criminal record, but she would have to leave Leah behind. Amber has commented on the judge's ruling via social media. Fans are concerned, however, because that post was published nearly a week ago and Portwood has been unusually silent since then. Amber wrote on Instagram, I've worked so hard to improve myself and my relationship with my children. While I've always been an open about my past substance abuse and mental health issues, a person should have a chance to redeem themselves and not be tethered to their past problems. People who have undergone therapy, attended classes, and made efforts to change should not be punished for past transgressions. Amber has made significant progress since her lowest point. However, she was only arrested three years ago for attacking Glennon with a machete while he was holding their child. Portwood's Instagram rant continued, I spent years rebuilding my bridges and did everything that was required of me, including completing 21 negative drug tests and multiple psychological evaluations. If your path has not been smooth, but you've worked hard to become better, more stable, and more caring person today, keep moving forward as I will never stop fighting for my children, whom I love more than anything else," she continued. I've been living in a nightmare trying to prove myself for so long, and I would not wish this unbearable suffering on any parent. That's it for this video, Plenty of Pop Fan. Remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest celebrity news and gossip. It's like candy, you can't stop eating. We'll cover what celebrities are wearing, who is dating who, and not dating anymore. It's hard to keep up with the recent happenings in their lives. We'll satisfy your gossip fix daily. Comment below if there's a celebrity in particular you want us to cover or a juicy news tip you'd like to share.